Hey, in this video, you're going to learn how to alias methods in Ruby and the difference between the alias keyword and the alias method method. So let's go over a few examples together. First, let's talk about alias. This is the alias keyword, okay? And let's say that I want to alias the puts method to something else, like for example, the print something. So I want to alias print something to be the same thing, to mean the same as puts. So now, just by doing this, I am able to say print something one, and it will work. It will do the same thing as if I just do puts, right? These two do the same thing right now. Now, this also this also works with parameters, so I can pass multiple parameters, can do one, two, three, and it also works, as you can see. So that's the alias keyword, very easy, easy to use, it's very easy to use, and that's how you use it. Now let's have a look at another method. This is called alias underscore method, okay? And to use it, we need to create a class. So let me create a class and call it cat. And inside cat, we, we want a method so we can alias it. So the method is going to be speak. And what it's going to do is going to say meow. Okay, so it's a cat. And cats do that. So, <laughs> and now I want to have another name for this method. So I name it speak. I also want to name it meow, but instead of duplicating, so I could do this, right? I could do a copy and paste, which is not always very good, but that would work. But the alternative or a better way to do this is to use alias method. So alias method has to be used after to define the method, okay? If you don't do it after the method that you want to alias, you are going to get an error. So that's important to remember. What are the arguments for this method? Well, just like the alias keyword, the arguments are the methods that we want to alias. So I want a, a method called meow to alias a method called speak. So speak is this method and meow is going to be our alias method. Now, let's try this and see how it works. I'm going to create a cat object and I'm going to call speak on it. So speak is this method and I'm calling it there. And as you can see, it works, it prints meow. Now, I create another cat and I call the meow method. It also works as you can see there. I know if we change this, you can see that they do the same thing. But here is an important point to remember. If I change the method after I alias it, and the way to change a method is just to define it again, like this, then as you're going to see in a moment, what happens here is that they're going to go out of sync they're going to be not alias anymore, as you're going to see right now. See? The first one is the output for speak, and now it's one to three because I changed it after alias, okay? And then meow is still meow because it's a copy of the original, and we didn't change the original. We didn't, I mean, we didn't change meow. What's going on here? What's really happening is that alias method is not just another name for the method. It's an actual copy of the method. So Ruby is creating another method with this name, with the same contents of this method. But it's not going to be syncing, it's not going to be keeping these methods in sync. So that's important to remember. And knowing that, let's go back to what we had before. 
And let's take let's talk about the difference between the alias keyword and the alias method. So alias looks like this meow and speak. And the difference is that this is a keyword that means that it's part of the Ruby language, right? It's a special word inside the language, just like and or class. All of these are special words, what we call keywords inside the language. And then we have things like puts or alias method or new, and these are methods, okay? A method, the good thing about method is that they follow a very specific set of rules. Method behaves in a very specific way, right? So a method, you can call it, and it takes parameters or arguments. And the arguments are separated. Always they have to be separated by a comma. Notice that there is no comma here. Why? Because keywords can have special rules. They can do whatever they want, right? It's like they are in another level. They are processed by Ruby uh, using a different lenses, we could say, right? So that's why these are different. Uh, so the main difference is on the syntax is that this requires a comma, this doesn't, this can be called like this without the strings or nothing. This has to be called like that with symbols or strings, okay? So that's the main thing. And um, what should you use? What should you use? I recommend that you use alias method. Why? Because it's just a method. There are no surprises. You know how a method works. You know that you can call a method with the parameters and it does something when you call the method. This is like attribute reader or attribute accessor or attribute writer. All of these methods work in a similar way to this, right? There are no special, there are no special keyword syntax or rules. So that's why I recommend if you are going to be alias methods to use the alias method method. And there is some finer points about how alias works, but you don't really need to know that right now. If you stick with alias method, you should in um, you shouldn't have any issues. That's how to alias methods in Ruby. If you like this video, Click the like button for me so I know that you like it. So keep learning, watch more of my videos, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, and check out my website, rubyguides.com, rubyguides.com. In there, I also have a Ruby book that is very helpful if you want to improve your Ruby skills faster and increase your confidence as a Ruby developer. Thanks a lot for watching. I will see you in the next video.